Tommy, 7-0, you must be very pleased with that. No, considering it's first game of the season and, and we've, we've got five or six new lads to, to add to what we had last year, and no, I thought, thought the boys were excellent today. Um, they, they work, we've worked on stuff in training and uh, they, they took that on board, they pressed really well, um, and in second half, they, they, when the chances come along, we, we took, them, took them well. Uh, and uh, the defence looked really strong as well. I mean, with all due respect, Ebbsfleet just didn't really look like scoring. When they did actually get through, your keeper made a couple of really good block saves. You're kind of thinking, it's just ain't their day, you know? No, I mean, this year, we, we our, our back fours, uh, we, we've got one for, we've got the first year in goal, we've got one first year centre-half, uh, both very, very good players. And we've got Harry, who was outstanding last year. And, and, and He was outstanding and, today, wasn't he? Outstanding he? today. <laughs> Two fullbacks, Sam and Leo, were, were wingers last year, so we're trying to teach them um, to try uh, to be fullbacks now, and, and, and they're both excellent. And that's two clean sheets in two games now. So, as a back five, they, they, they've been excellent. Now you beat uh, Phoenix one 0 in what you described as a scrappy game last week. Uh, presumably, much better today. Yeah, I mean, last week um, Phoenix were big and strong. They was very direct. Like they had long throws going into the box. They, had, they must have put the ball in our box 30, 40 times during the game. It was like a typical non-league game. And to be fair to our lads, they, they stood up to it. They defended their box really well. And um, it was a game of few chances. And when, when we got ours, we, we took it. Um, but no, the, boy, the boys were. It was two completely different games today. Phoenix were big, strong, direct. Ebbsfleet tried to play, and our, our boys adapted well. And uh, I, I thought today that the boys were outstanding and it was seven. I think it could have been probably 10 to 15 if, if we just took care of the ball a little bit more in the final third. Uh, now, how, do, how does this squad compare with the squad you had last year? I know some of the players are the same, obviously, but uh, do, do you think you're, 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 you're getting stronger? Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I think the boys this year are probably technically a little bit better than what we had last year, um, but we've lost, we've lost a couple of good players in Reese and Josh and Harrison, but the new lads are coming in. It's always hard to tell at start with. Every, oh. every academy will be the same. They, they, they get some new players in each year. So, um, But the, the main thing for me is every, all, all these lads, they're, they're keen, they turn up every day, their, their work rate's good, they want to learn, um, and as a coach, that's, that's all you can ask for. And, and you've got Sittingbourne in the FA Youth Cup at home here uh, next Wednesday. Give you a bit of a plug for that. Um, hopefully, a reasonable crowd will come along. But how do you feel about that? No, uh, I'm confident with it. if the boys play like they did today, they've got every chance. I don't, obviously don't know too much about sitting more, but it's, it's really nice for them to play at home. Um, I'm sure that quite a few of our supporters will come down and give them support, but their friends, their families, it gives them an opportunity to come down and get behind them. And I, I probably expect probably 150, 200, 200 people in Monday. Um, so it's, it'll be a great occasion for them and uh, it'll, be, it'll be nice for them to play under the lights and, uh, and on a first team pitch. No, definitely. Uh, and I believe around four or five of the squad, today's squad, were involved with the first team in a friendly at Merston yesterday evening. Yeah, it, I mean, we're fortunate here that our first team, Gaffer Steve, is, um, is, is excellent with the youngsters. I mean, every single one of the lads that play today have been in at training at some point throughout pre-season. Um, he invited five along last night, uh, Regan, Harry, Ned, uh, Jacob and, uh, and Sam, sorry. And, uh, and all the boys were, were done brilliantly last night. The first team boys took to them and they helped them out and it was a fantastic experience for them. And, and they all uh, played, I believe. Yeah, right? they, they all played. Mm. Regan played 70 minutes. The other lads played about 20 minutes. But each, each and every one of them come on and, 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 and didn't look out of place, which was nice. And it's a great experience for them, isn't it's, it? It's a fantastic experience. Any, any chance they get of, of playing in, our, or in and around our first team will, will only improve them as a player. Um, we haven't got anyone out there at the minute who's, who's ready for the first team, but any any experience that they can get training with us on the bench, uh, being involved in friendlies like that, we're only standing in good stead. Um, but yeah, the, the, the future of these lads, the, the, there's a few of them that could, could potentially go out on loan this year in, in the Kent League and Wyman South, and in two or three years' time, who knows, that, that, that they, they could be in our first team. Oh, definitely. Well, well done today, Tommy, and uh, good luck in the FA Youth Cup next week. Cheers, Jim. Well done, yeah, you did absolutely brilliantly. Uh, Harry, I think you got two goals. Louis, you got a goal, is that right? Yeah. So, yeah. really good performance, yeah? How did, it, how did it feel out there? It was good, especially being a defender, getting on the score sheet, and then keeping a clean sheet as well. I mean, you, you look very secure at the back, I have to say. Yeah, the first has come in. Got Alex, the first, just back, he's doing well. And then uh, Babs, left back, and Dero, right back, they're actually full players, and they just come wing backs. And, they're doing solid as well. Brilliant. Uh, now, you were involved, Harry, last season, weren't you? Do you think, it, you think you've got a stronger squad this season? You, you're going to perhaps push on even? Uh, 
technically, yes, I think we've got a stronger squad, but the size of us are all very small. Yeah. But that won't stop us. I think, yeah, we've got a good chance of coming first, second, or third in the league and going far and then we can't be going. Brilliant. Uh, and Louis, are you new to the sort of the elite team this, this season? Yeah, I can't. It's my first year here. Oh, right, yeah, okay. I've been a scholarship player up for Christy, and yeah, it's so good, like, especially mixing with the second years and even some of the third years. Like, it's so good like, for experience. And, yeah, it's, Good. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, and uh, what do you think of Tunbridge Angels as a club generally? Is that everyone pretty welcoming yeah, and we're getting on okay? So welcome. Like, my first day here, I felt like I've been here for years. Oh, and brilliant! It was so nice to just come in and be like so like um, like well like spoken and just. Yeah. Terrific. Well, well done today, lads. You did you. you did really, really well. It was a great performance. Uh, one nil at half time, seven nil at the end. Can't be bad, can it? No. <laughs> well done.